Hello, Nerdy Geeks. My name is Garrick. This is Van. Hello. Welcome to First Impression Tabletop Reviews. And today we are covering Jurassic Park Danger. Yeah. Danger. Danger. Dr. Grant? Let's get into this game right here, Jurassic Park Danger. Uh, we, you just showed me this game today. I did. And uh, I'm a fan of the movie franchise. Yeah. Fan of the movies, fan of the old movies, and, and of the new movies. Yeah. Yeah. But <laughs> this just came out. Uh, could you tell me a little bit about it? Because it looks really fancy. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's pretty fancy. Yeah. Uh, it has a modular board that will change every single time. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a one versus many game. So one player plays the dinosaurs, and the other players all play the hapless humans trying to escape the island. Okay. So it has the theme of the, well, it's clearly of the first movie, because right. you have like the characters from the first movie featured in this game. Mm -hmm. Wow, okay. That's pretty cool. And uh, we're trying to get off the island? So your goal is to reach your personal goal, okay. uh, turn on the three main buildings, okay. uh, wait for the helicopter to come, and then escape the island. So depending on the number of players, only certain guys need to escape, other guys can get eaten, you know. Okay. Well, okay, that, that's the gist of it. Could you show me uh, how we would play this game? Okay. So uh, we set up the game for, I think, four players. So okay. you just pretend you're three other people. Got it. Um, and we have the dinosaurs set in different locations, so right. everybody gets their own deck of cards. The humans get to look at their entire deck, and the dinosaurs get to look at three cards here. Okay. Each of the dinosaurs has a special ability, and you have a bunch of special abilities too. Okay. So out of the three cards that I get, I can either run, climb, or hide, which I don't have a card for. But, okay. Uh, dinosaurs are sneaky like that. Uh, humans can also sneak around, mm -hmm. much like the movie. I don't know how T-Rex will sneak through the jungle, but... The movies make it happen, so. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna choose a card and I'm gonna place it face down, and this is gonna do what my dinosaurs, or be what my dinosaurs are gonna do. Okay. Okay, then you're gonna choose cards. All right. I'll place it face down. Okay, so I'll, let me do that character. Let me take a look at this one. Okay, got so it, it. I get to go first okay. because dinosaurs are, you know, faster. Yeah. Uh, so I chose run and climb. All right. So when I run, I can run through any of the hexes that don't have little symbols on them. So I can't run over landslides or fences, but I can climb over them. Okay. Okay, so I'll move the Dilophosaur here, and my Tyrannosaurus will move here, climbing over the fence. Okay. Okay. Um, I also have special abilities that I can play on my turn. So the Velociraptor can move up to two, so I could rush you if I wanted to. Oh, all right. Um, the Tyrannosaurus can take two bites out of you instead of just one and the Dilophosaur, like the movie, can spit in your face. Okay. So I'm gonna choose that, and I'm gonna spit in your face. So when you're all together like this, you can choose a character to take the damage. Anyone you like. Oh, well, it's, it's gotta be uh, Ray Arnold. <laughs> Ray Arnold's gotta... Oh man, I'm not even gonna... Okay. Yeah. yeah he's going to be first. Okay. Yeah, so in order first. to do this, I'm just going to take one of your cards randomly. Okay. And this is going to be burned. So burned cards are no longer in the game. They're just sitting there. If you lose all of your cards, your character will not be in the game anymore. Okay. Okay. Interesting. Yeah. All right. So that's it for me. Okay. And once you do your one move, then mm -hmm. all the players. And, and no random, not, not random order, but no uh, particular order. So. No. You can choose whichever order you want to run away ah. from me most effectively. Okay. Well, I'll just run. So uh, I think uh, Dr. Malcolm would run away. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. We've got to get out of here. We've got to get out of here. Now. Now. Right now. Go, go, go. Let's go. Hey. Okay, that sounds because like a good would, idea. Yeah, you would totally run away. Uh, where would you run to? Probably not into uh, the jaws of the uh, of the dinosaurs, but uh, probably there, I guess, because yeah. he doesn't have to climb anything. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, then I have... Uh, Nature's finding a way. Yeah, nature's... Mm -hmm. <laughs> Dr. Grant, Dr. Mm -hmm. Grant, uh, I think he will tell everybody, hey, just stay, just stay. Okay. Because uh, dinosaurs' vision, uh, well, T-Rex vision is, is based off of movement. Don't move. Can't see us if we don't move. All right, so you're choosing the sneak, right? Yes. So you have to roll this die. Okay. And roll three or higher. 
Oh, that no. was not through your heart. Okay, so you can choose to boost your roll by playing a card from your hand. Okay. See the little numbers on the bottom corners over yeah. here? Yeah. Uh, you can add two to that with another card, or okay. as many cards as you like. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, so if I burn something like this? Yeah, so you just burn it right there. Okay. And then you're just gonna fall down like that. Oh. And you're invisible to me. I okay. can't see you. Next turn, you're going to start anywhere around in the hexes around you or here. I see. But you just come back up. Okay. Okay. And then uh, Mr. And Jackson? Just, he would run. Okay. He would totally run. <laughs> is he going in a different direction? He probably is. Okay. Because uh, I, I would assume that that's what he would do. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> One guy fell down and two guys are running away. Okay. <laughs> okay. So at the end of the turn, all your cards go into the discard pile. I draw another one. And uh, play continues like that until... Either I eat three of you, or three of you escape. Okay. Run if we cross these, uh, well, climb, if we have to cross, like climb on rocks to... Right. Can the dinosaurs get to us? Yeah, so the dinosaurs climb automatically. They don't have to roll because they're not puny humans. Okay. Um, <laughs> but yes, I'd have to play a climb card in order to get to you. Right. And if we get to these uh, these missions, these goals, we have to roll to activate the, the thing yes. too? So you have to roll a five plus when you roll when you get there or on your next turn. Uh, if you succeed, the maintenance shed will lock out. Actually, the maintenance shed will turn on all of the electric fences. Oh, all these guys come back. If you choose. Okay. Because sometimes that's worse. Okay. Uh, the visitor center will let you take two cards from your discard pile okay. that you used. And the control center will make it so that all the locations are blocked and no dinosaurs can come in. Interesting. Yeah. So uh, if you can accomplish stuff, mm -hmm. uh, it, it makes it a little bit more difficult for the dinosaurs to actually try and get to you, but it also yeah. blocks you too, right? Uh, it'll block, the electric fences will block you. There's wow. no way to move past an electric fence. Well, that makes sense, because that happens in the movie too. Yeah. One, two, three. Hey. <laughs> you got to debate, right? Turn them on or not. Interesting. Yeah. So uh, relatively, this is a very simple oriented game, and mm -hmm. it is a co-op, uh, well, one versus many right. co-op. Uh, it's great. Well, what are your first thoughts of it? Um, I was really hesitant because it's a target game, okay. but it's actually really well done. I played the dinosaurs and I, I won, so. <laughs> I wonder yeah. why. Did Probably. dinosaurs win in Jurassic Park? <laughs> <I guess. laughs> well, I don't want to give any spoilers away, but they, they, they kind of do. There, there's a T-Rex at the end. Of all the, almost all the movies have the same T-Rex kind of uh, <laughs> doing its uh, thing. He's so, a mascot. He's a Jurassic Park he mascot. Is, yeah. He is. He is. Uh, for me, yes, I, I really think this captures a lot of what the first movie uh, had entailed. Uh, and it reminds me of the Jurassic Park 3 game, which had the same kind of premise. Mm -hmm. the, uh, the characters are trying to get off the island and get to the helicopter pad. And it has that same dynamic. The difference is it does give you missions. Uh, which was the intent of the first movie. The first movie, you had to get to this point to make sure that all the gates uh, were tripped back on so the dinosaurs don't get out, but it traps other players. It's very unique. I also love that they got the license to use the actual characters in this. Uh, it makes it it makes it more closely connected mm -hmm. to the franchise. And mm -hmm. it was approved by the franchise, too. Mm -hmm. uh, ultimately, I thought this game was fun. Yeah. Simple. Uh, fun, and uh, if you're a fan of the franchise, stick with it. I actually like that all the characters are unique too. So all, oh, yeah. yeah. So all of them do a little bit different things depending on how their character was. Right. Right. So. Oh, well, awesome! Great. Uh, let us know if you play this game. Let us know what you thought of it, and uh, give us the comments of what new games that we should try out and whatnot. Other than that, my name is Garrick. This is Van. Thanks for watching our show. Until next time. Hey, everybody. Thank you for watching my video. Hey, if you can, give it a like and subscribe. We appreciate any kind of comments that you guys can give, so leave a comment below, because any kind of feedback is great feedback. Also, thank you to the Armchair Adventurer for hosting us. As always, you can come to their store, check out games, try games, and hopefully buy games. So remember, whenever you're at the Armchair Adventurer, get your game on. <laughs>